Oh, whoa, good morning, didn't see you there. Not like you were just sitting on my windowsill watching me do laundry. It's not weird. Sorry I made you guys do that. Um, you know, just starting the vlog off a little different today. Showing you what I'm doing. Oh, and I'm popular. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, it's Phaedra. You know her. She's one of my only friends. No, I'm just kidding. I'm still kind of waking up. Uh, I went for a fitting this morning. And that's where people fit me into clothes I wouldn't normally wear. And I am really, really popular. Put this on silent for a second. Phaedra, I will respond to you. I'm just having a moment, you know? You know when you're like talking to somebody and your phone dings? It's the same thing, right? I just, I'm treating you like a person. Yeah, so I had my fitting and uh, I had to wear heels and dresses, which was fun. And uh, we'll hope tomorrow goes by pretty fast. It sounds like it'll go by fast, but you never know. Oh boy, it's gonna rain, which is good for the very dead grass. That I'm about to mow. Onward. All of you who don't know who Phaedra is, she's one of my best friends from my hometown. And she just sent me a text and she's like, your vlog yesterday made me so happy. And then she said, but I have a challenge for you. And that is um, to try to not use the word normal, which I totally understand where she's coming from because I'm pretty sure when I say a joke, I'm like, well, that wasn't normal and I do stuff like that using examples so I'm allowed to use the word. Um, so I'm gonna try that starting now. I might have already said that a couple times at the beginning of this vlog. Um, and I'll try my best. And I'll use it in like proper context as opposed to making fun of myself context because I do that a lot. It's the best humor I have. Self-deprecated humor. I know it's like a confidence thing obviously, but I'm really good at it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try it though. This is going to be fun. I like challenges. I believe today is day four of writing in this journal. It's either day four or day three. I'm not quite sure. Um, I could look because I've written the dates in them, but um, I think from like if I was to say like what results have you found doing this, I'm not too terribly sure if there are a ton of results, but I felt, I've felt more creative and happy about being creative and it's not like a stress. So um, yesterday I went to a coffee shop and I just started writing or after already writing that. And so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to write a script just for fun. Like, it doesn't mean that I have to do it, but I'm just gonna have fun with it and not care and just keep writing. And if I get stuck somewhere, I can either just stop or I just keep writing and don't let myself get stuck. So it was a really fun challenge to do. And I don't know, if you guys wanna try the writing thing, I'm just telling you guys kind of what my experience is with it so that you guys have an idea if you might wanna try it or not. On another note, I was gonna show you guys these two amazing songs I heard yesterday and I had to download them cause they're amazing. This one's called Hero by Loma Bista and it's so good and so cute sounding. I don't wanna be a he hero. <laughs> I don't know it yet. I don't be a big man. And then there's this one too. This one's called Two Heads by Coleman Hell. They're so good. Okay, now I gotta go to a massage. See if I can get my shoulder fixed still. Update on the shoulder, still not fixed. Grr. Also, not that you guys needed to know this, I like went and looked in the mirror before I went to leave. <laughs> And I noticed I had something stuck in my teeth. So please ignore the fact that there was something stuck in my teeth that whole time I was talking to you guys. Okay? Cool. Thanks. Good talk. <laughs> I can't help but feel completely unorganized and overpacked. But I guess, if you think about it, it's way better to be overprepared than it is to be underprepared. Right? Hmm? Lessons for the day. Got it all. Got my stunt bag that I'm going to use for tomorrow, which is my purse. Everything's packed up where it should be. And I weighed it all. We're under the weight limit. I think we're good. I should probably check what time it is. 
Oh yes, it's one in the morning. That would explain the lack of energy. Whew, I'm really nervous about tomorrow. Just because it's all up in the air. And I don't know if I'm going to get off on time. So the feels are... Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Just play it by ear, right? Go with the flow. Hippie life. <laughs> um, well, guys. Uh, I won't be editing this tonight because I know that tomorrow won't be much of a vlogging day. So I'm just going to put the next couple of days all together. So, I, Oh, and if... Some of you are wondering, ride-wise, I have a couple people that said that they could give me a ride. I just haven't confirmed with anyone yet, so <laughs> everything's kind of a winged day tomorrow, all right? That's just how Cassandra rolls. I think I did okay on the normal challenge. I don't know. I actually forgot about it a little bit. I might have to try again tomorrow. Deal? Deal. Okay. Good night. Is it silly that I know if I go to sleep, then I'll wake up and I'll have to face tomorrow? <gasps> I'm scared. I know it'll all work out, but I know if I work it all up in my heart, then something will go wrong tomorrow. So I have to go to bed. I gotta make this happen, guys. But I also wanted to show you that I have these fears and weird anxiety things, too. So, yeah, I might do stunts, but I'm a scared little girl all the time. And it's okay to admit those things, because I think we're all kind of scared of something. And if you're not, then you're a really cool robot, and I want to know how you do it. Just give me a ring. It's cool when I tell you guys some of my fears too because telling you guys kind of makes me feel like I'm being honest with myself and then it allows me to kind of get over it in a way. It's really weird. It's almost like when you admit your fears to somebody, you're like, I just got that much stronger. I don't know if there's a psychological thing behind it, but it's interesting. I can do this because I told you guys and I know that you guys are behind me. Maybe that's what it is. All right, I can do this. Thanks guys, thanks for the support. I so didn't record today's adventure. But we made it. I went to work. I finished work at 7.45. I got home at 8.15. And that's like, <laughs> I was downtown Vancouver and went to Port Coquitlam, which is usually a 40 minute drive. I made it in about half an hour, 25 minutes. <laughs> and then I put everything in my house away. And then my friend picked me up, dropped me off. And now I've just been kicking it in the phone land slash eating my face off because I didn't have time to eat today. And I treated myself to chocolate and I don't even care. Don't you tell me what I can and can't do. And that's the lineup I should be in. But I'm put in a middle seat, so I'm gonna wait till everyone leaves and I'm gonna be like, can I please have a window seat? And they're probably gonna be like, sorry, none's available. And I'll be like, do it or else I'll hurt you. And I'll be like, okay, well, we have to listen to you, Cassandra, because you threatened us. <laughs> I probably should have said that in an airport. I'm gonna stop now. <laughs> I feel like I champion this day so hard. Let's do this. We're here again. Doesn't it look familiar? Like we've done this before. Hey, you have Gotta go find Trevor. Oh yeah, front car service. Boo yeah. Nice ride. <laughs> we made it. We're in. What is this place called again? Kemptville. Kemptville. <laughs> Were you gonna sneeze? No, it was a Kemptville. This doesn't do justice. Gotcha. I just realized something. I think you unpurposely matched with me so that if we had to, uh, for some reason, in an emergency, switch clothing. <laughs> we would look just as good because it's the same color mm. for the most part. Grays and greens. Yeah, right? It's the color palette of this movie. Of this movie? Every movie has a color palette. This movie, like right now that we're making? Oh, I thought the way you meant the one that you were working on. <laughs> I was like, you can't say that, right? You can't say the color palette. It's wrong. <laughs> I don't know if you know we're in Canada, eh? but uh, this is how you know. Or you can have one of these. Oh, ooh, a maple cookie? Is that a fudge? That's just maple candy. Oh. Ooh, Zandar wants me to try maple candy. Hmm. What, what's the difference between these ones? Canada. Hi, bonjour. Hi. Bagels, ice cream, fruits and vegetables. They've never had maple candy or anything before. Okay. So. This is maple butter. Yeah. 
Hmm? Thanks. Hmm? Oh, thank you. My family, which will have the green sign. Green sign marketplace is a farmer and a producer. If you see a red sign, there's a reseller. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Zandar has bought us little maple uh, candies, right? Okay. Go for it. Do you approve? Do you approve? Mm -hmm. You just put it in your mouth, so you, you should have an opinion already. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> Whoa, it like breaks in your mouth. It's pretty good. It's really sugary, though. I'm gonna crash right before we crash. go to work. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Baby things. They're funny sometimes. So it turns out they have an Etsy store. I don't know if I'm covering it with my thumb here. There you go. If you uh, have friends that need baby things, they're actually really cool. And that was the actual owner. We went over there, and he was the person who like makes up the quotes. And they have like, they used to be like super big in wholesale and stuff, and now they just as like market stuff and all over Etsy, all over the world, which is like, wow, you're the man. And we got to talk to you. It was cool. So Ottawa is known for their museums, and everybody in the comments was kind of like, go check out this museum, go check out this museum. So right now we're in the art. Oh, you guys are blurry. Come on, figure it out. Come on. We're in an art museum. And we have about 20 minutes because our car runs out um, of parking around that time. So we're going to see as much as we can in 20 minutes because it's free. So on Thursdays and after 5 p.m. only. We'll go to Ottawa and check it out. Look how long it is. That's crazy. That's amazing that somebody took the time to do all of this. Wow. It's like the biggest cardboard pop-out ever. You know those books that have the pop-out? Except it's the story of all of modern civilization. That's crazy. <laughs> I don't know what that's for. <laughs> Get that flat stomach you've always been working on. <laughs> so this is what happened, and then cameras happened, and nothing else happened because all the cameras took over the world. <laughs> Holy cameras, 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 cameras. Oh, people, 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 bums. People, people, people. And at the dawn of time, there were animals and skeletons. And then it went all the way over to cameras at the down at the end. There you have it, folks. Put it here. At art, what is this museum again? National Art Gallery. National Art da Gallery. National Art Gallery of Ottawa. So what Zandara just found out was that it's from uh, Life magazine, 50 years going all the way down to there. So she's the one with the answers. I just make jokes. These are cool. This vlog was a little bit confusing. I got in at the Toronto airport. Trevor picked me up from the Toronto airport. We drove to Ottawa. We worked on Trevor's show that he's coordinating right now. And it just boggles my mind that our friends are just all over the world. Like Zandara, you've seen me hang out with her in Vancouver before. She came over to also work on Trevor's show and we were all just hanging out in Ottawa. Totally normal. And it's so cool that you can work all over the world with your friends. And it's just like any other day. And in saying that, that was actually my first time ever working not in Vancouver for film. So that was a really cool experience for me. You know, maybe, maybe there's more of that to come in the future. Mm, just putting it out there wherever that where may be. <laughs> um, well, I hope you all have a good day and I have lots more vlog stuff coming your way. All right? Good night.